what is going on guys it's luke here from 100 percent adults and we're doing a little bit different thing today we're going to check out a couple of raids uh, a couple wars ago against foma morte uh, able to exploit some of these bases um so let's go ahead and jump in with the first one's a mass menu raid from optimus prime we're going to be checking out a chinese combo and they're breaking these raids down using twidla and then we're going to go ahead and watch the live attack with some music so uh, let me know in the comments if you like this type of video and we'll do more of those but anyways without further ado let's jump over to twidla so Optimus Prime here goes ahead and um, starts using some of his minions, um, as you can see. Um, let's go ahead and grab a color. Uses a couple minions right here to get the funnel set up. Just two minions, and then he's going to drop his queen right here, as you can see. And then he's going to go ahead and basically drop his Barb King kind of on this side to clear out the trash around here. Um, that's going to go ahead and... Um, uh, that's going to go ahead and just allow these buildings to fall down and uh, push the queen in to uh, the core here. He's going to go ahead and drop his earthquakes right here to open this up. Um, that's going to allow him to get access to these two key air defense right here. And um, I think what he was hoping for is he was hoping to, to get uh, maybe not this um, wizard tower, not really a plan for that one, but potentially get to these wizard towers. And he, his queen does kind of walk that way, but it ends up not actually falling um, that way for him. So he goes ahead and just pushes his queen in this way. Um, she does get that arch tower down, gets that expo down, uh, bomb tower, uh, rotates over to get the sweeper, and uh, the builder hut's in there as well. Um, this air defense, and as a cannon, and there's a couple of Teslas here. Look, there's one right here, and then a couple more over here. So these Teslas are going to go down, and um, basically what he's going to do is the queen's going to be engaged. He's going to go ahead and drop a rage spell as the CC comes out. Another rage spell here as he engages the queen. And then almost right after that, he's going to go ahead and drop another rage spell, three rage spells on the queens to get this Tesla farm down. So he's not having to use the queen's ability, which comes into play later. And then um, you can't really see it here, but it's uh, he's going to go ahead and drop. He's got one hand on the CC and one there. He's going to drop two hounds this way to soak up all the, the uh, red bomb traps. And then the minions just are Asian walled behind, basically. And there's no spells for them at all. The loons come in um, just kind of in the other sections to, 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 to get the traps, basically, is what they're doing. They're trying to tank for the traps. So he's got the loons coming in. So he's pretty much covering all the red bomb areas. And they all go in to the base. And uh, the minions pretty much just take it out. So the minions will cut um, the wizard towers up here, kind of burn out the minions. But everything that that kind of comes in from, from this angle right here kind of moves in this direction over here. So he gets this this his kills his uh, queen charge gets this area killed um and then she starts beating through a wall right about here and tries to go out this way and help out but the minions cut about kill about this part of the base right here so he's left with is a couple wizard towers um and uh the arch tower at the bottom here so this arch tower so everything just kind of ends up over here the queen I think she loses the healer to a seeking air mine, but she she ends up. Uh, let's go ahead and clear this. She ends up uh, coming back around to uh, I think back through this way, and then ends up breaking through a wall and taking it out with a couple of minions helping out, and ended up uh, getting the three star. So very inventive raid. I'm pretty sure this is a fresh hit. It could be wrong, but um, Optimus Prime getting the job done. Let's go ahead and watch that live attack right now.
All right, that was the mass minion. Now we're going to go into a Chinese combo from Sepe. Uh, this one's a very interesting attack. It's definitely something you may not have seen before. So I'm going to go ahead and break it down. I'm going to show you another one as well. So uh, let's go ahead and jump over to Twidla and we'll break this attack down for you. Attack is an attack you might not be as familiar with. Um, it's called the Chinese combo. And the, the thing about it is, is it uses two uh, healers on the kill squad. Um, so six, four, six healers total. So four on the queen and then four, two on the uh, Valks and the bowlers that are going to come out of the CC. So what Sepe does here is uh, pretty, pretty, uh, you know, you can exploit some of these bases that have uh, lurable CCs, uh, come in the queen, come in the, uh, the, the side of the base that you want and pretty much get um, access to what you need to get access to. So what he does here is he goes ahead and drops off, um, starting off, he is going to go ahead and drop off a couple of minions here to get the funnel set up. Queen's going to go down here with the healers are going to be on this side to kind of get that um, offset so he's not dragging the healers the wrong way. There's not a lot of air defense there, so it doesn't necessarily matter too much. And it is kind of close to that archer tower, so maybe not necessarily the best uh, place for the healers to be, but it doesn't end up costing him, so that's good. Um, it goes ahead and walks the queen this direction. Um, is going to try to break in the wall right here. So in order for that to happen, he goes ahead and drops a minion over here, another minion over here. I think he drops a wizard here too, as well as a... Uh, a uh, baby dragon which is going to tank from this archer tower so that's good um that's going to get everything kind of into the area there so uh um but yeah so basically what's once that's taken care of and he gets this funnel set up he goes ahead and drops his king here um and then valkyries go in with as well as the bowlers so everything just kind of pushes in and the extra two healers um breaks through this wall here he goes ahead and rages up right around here um they're going to go ahead and break through this wall pretty easily then the rage clears out this compartment the queen nicely positioned there is going to draw the right through the break in this wall right about here he's going to go ahead and throw another heal spell down there uh let's change color uh for the heal so he's going to throw a heal spell uh, right here for the queen uh, kind of get through that compartment and then as they start to break through the next wall he's going to go down and throw his um, second rage spell um, in here and then uh, go ahead and as they kind of choose the wall he's going to go ahead and choose to heal over here because a lot of the uh, tightly packed defenses are on this side and he wants the Valks to push out that way so everything kind of works through for this one the nice thing about this type of attack is that the healers are there and even with the Ziggy Mines, you've got six healers so uh, they stay they keep the king the Valkyries the bowlers and the queen all at full health uh, two hogs one is for the lure I forgot to mention that he does lure um, right when the queen's right about here he goes ahead and gets that lure taken care of and a poison and the ability are used to go ahead and work through that CC very effectively so this attack is uh, very inventive and, and nice and I I always enjoy watching these attacks, so keep it up, guys. And now let's get into the live attack. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother.
So this attack is uh, similar to the HGHB in the sense that you really want to make sure that your spells are coming down in the right spot. And it's one of those things where you kind of set up the funnel, make sure everything goes in the core, and put the spells down the right place, and everything's done for you. So uh, let's go and watch Doc and see how he gets this thing done using the same attack strategy. Let's go over and jump over to Twidla and uh, go ahead and record the uh, Twidla session. Then we'll jump back for the live attack just like we've been doing. All right, so this base is a little bit different. It's a little bit more compact, as you can see. Um, he's going to go ahead and he, uh, looks like Doc is going to take this one out. A uh, little lower level defenses, but he's going to pretty much exploit this base here. Going to try to do two things here. First off, there's an army camp uh, right here. You, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's an army camp. Just going to drop one wizard um, over on this side, and then uh, the queen's going to go down here. Um, and he's going to go ahead and trickle a hog in to get the CC lured out. Um, doesn't end up getting all the CC out, which ends up uh, being a problem that he, he adjusts for later in the raid, but uh, goes ahead and just gets um, goes ahead and gets as much of the CC out as he possibly can uh, with that one hog lure that he's got with him, and then uh, walks the queen uh, this way up here, uh, uses one poison um, right about, let's change color really quick to a good poisony color. Uh, uses his poison right about here uh, for the CC and then as he moves up uh, the queen hops this wall or she gets in range of the queen rather and uh, uses another poison there so use the ability on the CC it's a couple of goblins as well as um, uh, Valkyrie I think is what he gets pulled and then leaves a Valkyrie as well as a baby dragon in the clan castle so uh, everything moving through up this direction everything looking pretty solid so what he actually does a little bit different and the nice thing about this is you can kind of change the strategies you need to. He drops the bowlers and the king kind of from this angle and they're going to go ahead and just pretty much wrap around this side of the base and get that funnel set up on this side and then he's just going to drop his valkyries in, um, oh, let's see this color, uh, drop his valkyries in kind of like this angle right about here. As the queen takes down the town hall the valkyries will come in here. So he goes ahead and actually drops a uh, heal spell right about here. Um, and gets those Valkyries as they're breaking the wall right about there. And as they come into the base, he goes ahead and, and obviously will will take a Rage spell and push them through uh, this compartment right here. And then he's going to go ahead and drop another Rage spell right here. And then the other heal is going to be in there somewhere as well. So the, the idea of this is you want to push the Valkyries through the core of the base. He's walking his queen to kind of trim off this side, get the CC and the queen. And then the king is going to get uh, some value on this side. Now, the baby dragon does come out of the clan castle um, sort of... Um, sort of this direction up here uh it comes up this way and kind of trails off over here chasing the bowlers so what he does is he trails in a baby dragon um trails in that baby dragon kind of this angle right here and ends up taking out um the enemy baby dragon one of his baby dragons the other one he uses to funnel and then he has a couple of archers left over which he can use to pick off the buildings over here and get the job done so it's a very nice attack very well thought out and um you can see how doc kind of improvises and gets the job done here so the one thing i do like to point out with this attack strategy is that you are left up usually uh your queen is usually left over at the raid because she's not doing a charge she's not really pushing into the base so uh, there's a high likelihood that she's going to survive because she's just kind of walking around the outside so that means that your queen's going to be up she's going to have healers on her and she can do, uh, finish up the cleanup as needed and there's going to be no uh, problem at all as you can see the battle hasn't started yet and there's two minutes 30 seconds on the clock so he's going to swag 30 seconds which is really nice you want your strategies to be about two minutes and 30 seconds long uh, the longer they get the more close to the uh, wire it is and the easier it is to have a time fail which you do not want to have so nice job doc here this is the last attack we're going to watch live so let's go ahead and get into that
All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the uh, channel. Uh, go ahead and follow on Twitter. Uh, you can follow on Twitch as well. Uh, you can join my Discord server and also subscribe on YouTube. Uh, check out the CWL website. You can click there for the link as well as in the description below. And uh, that's going to be it for this one. Really appreciate you guys stopping by again and take care.